Hi there. This is T and Security, Episode 2, SSL and TLS, and I'm Wendy Nather, your host. And my tea today is a wonderful uh, cream tea from uh, Ann Arbor's very own local tea house that somebody put in the magic tea drawer here at the Duo offices. And boy, it is really good. Whoever put that in there, thank you. Um, before I get going, the usual disclaimer. Um, I, in order to make this listenable, eh, I uh, simplified a lot of things, so please don't at me. So we're going to talk about SSL and TLS, uh, secure sockets layer and transport layer security. And what is the difference between the two of those? Well, the answer is really one of them has T. That's all you need to know. Um, yes, SSL is the older version of uh, the software and TLS is the later, more secure implementation. And there are people who care a lot about the difference. So don't go mixing them up in front of those sorts of people. But generally, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Um, it's just that TLS is a newer and more secure version of SSL. So let's talk about what this really means. Um, if you are a user and your browser has a connection to a website and you're surfing away, if it's not encrypted, you are just using the hypertext transfer protocol, which sounds really buzzwordy now, but it's a really old term now. Uh, you're using it unencrypted. And that means that anybody could listen in on what you're doing and anybody could capture what you and the website are sending back and forth to each other. Now, if you think about sending passwords back and forth, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Uh, so what we want to do is use, use HTTPS and the S stands for secure. And uh, what you want to have is an encrypted session between yourself and the website so that nobody can listen in. Now, um, it's not just a matter of protecting, any, keeping people from eavesdropping what you're sending back and forth, although that's important too. Um, if the owner of the website wants to make sure that nobody else can see what you are, what you are seeing, they definitely want to have that connection encrypted. Uh, but also, if it's unencrypted, somebody could uh, also interject things or even take over your session between your browser and the website. And you don't want that kind of session hijacking to happen. So some people think that it's really okay just to encrypt the pages, uh, the connection to the pages that have confidential information on them. But that's not the case because then somebody could hijack the session during the unencrypted parts. So you really want to make sure that the whole session is using HTTPS all the time. And again, HTTPS can be either SSL or TLS. Take it with or without T. It's all the same to me. Just kidding. Not really. Don't at me. Now, the other important thing to know is that this encrypted session um, can also be between you and the wrong website. So, you know, evil websites can also have, use SSL and they can also uh, set up secure sessions. It's just that you're going to the wrong one. The great thing about SSL is that setting up this uh, encrypted connection involves using a certificate on the server side, on the website side, that says what this site is and, and who it is. Now, generally, your browser is configured to trust a certain number of certificates, those that are signed by uh, trusted authorities around the internet. And your browser usually comes pre-configured with the ones you're supposed to trust. But like I said, there are bad websites that can also use SSL or TLS. Uh, and what might happen is if they trick you into trying to think that you're going to a regular website, um, you may notice that because the certificate is different, in which case you're going to see a pop-up warning like this. Um, the server presented a certificate issued by an entity that is not trusted by your computer's operating system. Um, that's what these pop-ups are about. And sometimes it can be, uh, you know, a really serious problem. Sometimes it can be that um, you're going to a, a less well-known website and they couldn't afford a, a full-on trusted certificate, so they generated their own certificate and your browser doesn't know who it is. And that's fine if you're really sure that you're going to the right site. But if you've been going to a site like 
twitter.com for a while and all of a sudden you see one of these pop-ups you better be worried because somebody might be trying to impersonate that website and your browser knows the difference so that's why you should pay attention to these pop-ups um, now the other thing to know about um, these encrypted sessions is that usually they tell you to look for the little padlock at the top of your bar and that means that the sessions and you know is encrypted and therefore it's secure but it does not mean that you're protected from everything um, that has to do with security in the website again you've got an encrypted session like like a secure tunnel to the website but the website itself could still be infected uh, and that does not protect you against infected websites also, on the other side, you could still attack that website through this secure connection. You could just do it securely. Um, so there is no protection on either side. The only thing you're getting with HTTPS is you're, you're getting the secure tunnel between the two of them. So it's really important to know what you're getting and not getting when you see that little padlock in your browser. So what does this have to do with Duo? Well, for one thing, if you end up going to the wrong website because you're being fished or something and you type in your login credentials and somebody steals those credentials, there are attackers that do that. Um, if you have two-factor authentication set up, then even if they get your password, they still can't use it because you still have the, the, the second factor of authentication and they can't get to that. The other thing is that the website can protect itself by enforcing um, two-factor authentication for its users and also making sure to set policies on what kind of devices, what kind of known trusted devices can access that website to begin with. So putting in those extra controls is what Duo provides to help get around the problem of SSL and TLS not you know not covering all the bases so think about this when you're going uh, when you're you're going around on the internet and surfing the web you may have secure tunnels to the wrong places or you may have them to the right places but that doesn't always protect you it's better to have these extra factors and these extra security controls in place so that was the end of that exciting episode please stay tuned for our next one